Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting together this little one-page sort of website demoing the modules for the fantastic Divi 4 theme. If you want to take the Divi 4 theme for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. What we're going to do today, because at the moment this is just a page, just a regular page, you have to scroll down it to find what you want. We're going to turn this into a one page scrolling site. So what we're going to do is have a menu at the top here. We've got a menu. We're going to fix it so the menu goes to our various sections here and scrolls smoothly to them. Really easy to do. So the first thing I want to do is decide where we want to scroll to, which sections. And those sections I need to give an ID, a CSS ID. So let's enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to the first section. I guess we'll use this as um, the About Us section. So I'm going to go into the section right here, which is the blue tab. Blue tab for section, green tab for row, dark tab for module. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to give you a CSS ID. So I'm going to go over to advanced to CSS IDs and you want an ID, not a class, an ID. I'm going to call this one about and I'll try and remember what I've called these because I'm going to need them later on. Scroll down a little bit further. I guess we'll call this one services. Again, I'm going to go up to the section tab there advanced CSS ID services hit the cog advanced CSS ID I'm going to call this blog And move on down to the next one, whichever we want to show next, I guess pricing. Advanced CSS ID price. And I guess we'll want to go to contact last but not least, which is right here. Section advanced CSS ID contact you want to make sure your CSIDs are unique you can't have two the same because it will confuse everything so you want to make sure each one's different save that now we've put those in there we need to actually create a menu for our top here that has our various bits and pieces in it so we want to save our changes, hit the purple button, hit save. Once saved, let's exit the Visual Builder. And go to our dashboard to create the menu. Now we're going to use custom links for this. So I want to go to Appearance and Menus. create a new menu I'm going to call it one page create menu button okay so I'm going to put the home page on there and everything else I'm going to use custom links for so I'm going to go down a custom link URL is going to be our first CSS ID so it's hashtag you need to put a hashtag in front of it about and the link text can be about also okay so we had that I want to add a new one which was for the services hashtag and then services CSS ID Pretty sure it was services. If it's wrong, it's not going to work. <laughs> the 
then we had blog I believe so it'll be hashtag blog and remember we're using custom links here next one I think was price hashtag price I'll say pricing And the last one was contact, hashtag CSS ID of contact, C O N T A C T. And we'll say contact us. Let's add to menu. Save that menu. Now we've created our menu, we need to assign it to our primary menu and we're actually using the customizer we've got custom headers and footers for this so if we go to Divi theme builder here's our global header let's edit it and once loaded let's edit the menu here and assign it to one page And we'll save that. Save our changes. Exit. Now for those of you that haven't got a global header and footer, you, you can do yours by going to your appearance, customizer, down to menus, click on menus, and then just set your primary menu. Here's your menu, just make sure it's set to the primary menu. Primary menu, there we go. So let's exit this, visit the site and see what we got. Okay, about, that scrolls down to our about page there services goes down to services blog fantastic goes down to the blog pricing and last but not least contact there we have it and that's turned that into a nice one page scrolling site what we'll do in the next video is turn this into a sticky menu so it stays on top when we scroll down. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.